Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, let me introduce myself quickly. My name is Pooja Shekhar. I'm a fashion designer and an illustrator. I make fashion and fashion education content here. So if you are interested in such content, please subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'm talking about an application where you can create digital illustration for free in your Android phone. Yes, the application is completely free. You do not need to buy any subscription. I have previously also spoke about one other application which is Pixart. With that also you can create digital illustrations for free in your Android phone. So the video is already up on my channel, you can check that. And if you are not comfortable with English language, uh, there is a Hindi version of the same video also. So you can check that out. And the application that I am talking today is Autodesk Sketchbook. This application is easily available on uh, Play Store and App Store. So I want to introduce more such applications where you can create digital illustration without any subscription i want to mostly focus on the application which you can use in your android phone so if you are interested please subscribe to my channel so let's start today's video so this is how the screen looks when you open the application you can see a canvas in the middle and there are three toolbars at the left right and the top of the screen so when you touch the first icon at the left icon uh, you can see a lot of uh, brushes that are available we are going to use like a lot of brushes so you will have a lot of options you can adjust the size and everything uh, so these sketches these brushes are going to be very handy for us this is the basic pen tool which we are going to use a lot and you can just see a lot of brushes are available they are very very unique and very creative like you can create whatever the illustrations that you want and when you click on the right side of the toolbar when you touch the circle at the top you can find a wheel color wheel where you can select like create your own colors and there are a lot of shade cards available also where you can just select a different shades of a single color so this is going to be very helpful while selecting the perfect color for your illustration and there is a layer option also on this application where layers are going to be very useful while creating illustration because you can create each element in different layers so they don't merge together and uh, you can edit and you can uh, change anything with different layers so these are going to be very useful so i'm drawing in one layer right now so um, when i try to erase that you can see i'm trying to erase so it is erasing but the uh, green color which is drawn in another layer is not being erased so the good thing about layers is you can work differently on different layers so see i again changed the layer so now i'm able to erase the green color but the red color is not erasing because the red color is on the other layer so this is how the layer works and you can create uh, each element in different layers so it will be very easy you know it won't be if you want to change any particular element you do not need to change all the uh, you know all the colors and everything so uh, while explaining the while doing the illustrations i can explain more about it so yeah this is about layers and then at the top you can see a lot of icons and the first icon is where you can um, save and everything uh, the basic menus and then you can see undo and redo buttons like basic undo redo things uh, where you can like undo any action that you have done and redo the actions and then there is um, a selection tool where you can select a particular part of the uh, illustration and you can uh, change the particular uh, thing like whatever you have done you can copy that you can paste that you can uh, move the only uh, only that part you can move so let me show you so i have selected this part of this flower and the next icon like the next icon after the uh, selection tool I, that helps you to move the object so only the particular uh, portion which i selected that is moving so this is how the selection part and moving part works so yeah this is the overall moving uh, icon so only the red flower is moving you can see because only that flower is there in that layer so i can move only uh, the object which is present in the layer so if you if i want to move the green leaves also i need to select another layer like on which the green leaves have been drawn i need to select that and try to move it so this is how moving and the layers everything works so uh, as i said like if we practice it every day then you can understand it more so i can explain it more when we uh, do a illustration live illustration on this so yeah and the next icon is uh, fill icon you can see uh, this is a very common color filling icon after color filling icon you can see a ruler icon where you will get different type of rulers where this one is a curved ruler so you can adjust the curvature however you want and you can draw the curved lines and then there is a ruler 90 degree 180 degree ruler where you can you know rotate it however you want and draw straight lines and after a ruler there is another option also it's called eclipse 
so if you want to draw any oval shapes eclipse shapes you can use this these are very handy when you are drawing any geometric shapes or any design that needs a perfect circle perfect eclipse perfect perfect oval so these are going to be very useful and then after that there is mirror image uh, option where you can um, draw something which can be appeared on the other side also so this is how the mirror thing looks so i'm trying to erase the workspace so i can show how this works so you can see like i'm trying to draw at one side but the same image is uh, seen drawn uh, in in a opposite direction so this is how mirror image works and there are a lot of sections also like 4 divide 6 divide you can increase however you want so these are very uh, useful when we try to create any ethnic motifs where we want to have that perfect uh, like combination of all sides so this is going to be very useful so this is how it works and then there is uh, basic tools like basic shapes uh, straight line circle and square so yeah these are about the few icons and then you can see uh, a predictive stroke this is a very new feature uh, we can see in auto sketchbook which will help you to you know uh, predict your stroke you can just use this app, uh, tool to get that perfect stroke without any uh, you know any shakiness you don't see any shakiness these will be very perfect so i i showed you like how does it look when we draw normally but when you use this it will create a perfect stroke so right after that also another type of predictive stroke where uh, you can just draw something and it forms a shape uh, if you want to create a circle you just need to make a roundish uh, act from your fingers then it will make it a round perfect round so this will also help when you are creating some proper like structural art so this is the thing and after that there is adding picture icon so if you want to add any picture to your canvas by adding picture you can trace the image you can develop a new design by adding an image taking it as a reference so this is going to be very useful because we might be using a lot of references uh, as a uh, to trace them so i have taken this sketch which i have previously drawn from the same application so i took this from that image picker icon so this is how the image picker works and after that you can see uh, where we can create uh, lines in a particular angle you can select these angles and then try to draw the line however you want i'm i'm trying to make a a background for this so let me just draw some lines from the same green color because the outfit is light green and light yellow so this is how the lines uh, okay let me add a few colors so this is how i want to make this background for this so i'm just trying to show like what this um, particular tool looks and then there is an icon where the text can be added so i have opened this and i'm typing go green because randomly because it's it, it is going with the whole thing so i have changed the color and i'm not happy with the alignment so i'm just dragging it a little bit okay so this alignment okay this looks good okay so friends these are the basic tools which are available in autodesk sketchbook so in this video i have covered the all the basics for you guys so if you are interested in learning more about autodesk sketchbook so please continue watching my series which i'm going to post on my youtube channel so please subscribe to my channel and i promise you can create wonders with this application